Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, we had a quite a wake up call earlier this morning as we had storms moving through parts of the area. Now radar not showing anything. We may see a couple pop up storms here and there as we go through the day, but for the most part, things looking good as we give you a live look from our Roanoke Blacksburg Airport sky cam and you see the clouds. They're pretty thin. They're not really growing very tall. If we were to see that, that would be an indication that storms were about to pop immediately. So that's not at least the case now. Temperatures meanwhile, low to mid 80s. The dew points risen a little bit. So just a touch on the humid side, but nothing that's just nothing obnoxious, at least. So we'll head through the rest of the afternoon and notice temperatures naturally rising a little bit more 85 to 90 degrees. And again, just some spotty storms here and there. Nothing that's going to be a washout for us. So future tracker showing that here we are around now between now and 1 p.m. You may see a spotty storm or two. I think future trackers overdoing this a little bit just because again our clouds are not growing very tall very quickly, but between about 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. We could see a storm or two area wide and then beyond sunset the chance for storms will start to go down for us. Then by tonight we actually have to look up toward the northwest. That's where we could see the comet Neowise. Now remember you got to get to uh, a place that's not exactly lit very well. You should also get to a higher place and maybe take some binoculars with you, but between 10 15 and 10 40 45. That's when you could see it and then tomorrow morning between about 350 and 430. After that, the sun rises. It goes to quick work tomorrow. We're going to be once again very hot out there. Lexington around 89, Roanoke 91, Danville and Lynchburg 92, and even into Hillsville and Withville, you'll see temperatures in the middle 80s with warm springs in the middle 80s as well. Good news is whereas right now again we're a little bit on the humid side by tomorrow you see dew points in the upper 50s and lower 60s for this time of year that's actually very comfortable so kind of be similar to what we had Saturday where yeah it was hot but the humidity wasn't all that bad. That'll start to change as we head into Wednesday, though, as you see this front that's to our north. It's going to be far enough to the north that the hot air comes in from the south. But as it gets closer to us Thursday, Friday and Saturday afternoons, you've got the heat, you've got the humidity and this front kind of lifts all that and gets more showers and storms going each afternoon. So not going to be a washout, but something will entertain. And again, again, given the fact that we're going to be hot, any one or two storms that do develop each afternoon could be on the strong side. So for the New River Valley today, we're in the middle 80s. Tomorrow and Wednesday will be a little hotter than that in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And that'll also be the case on Thursday, but that's when we start to introduce storm chances back into the forecast. And you see that pretty much each day throughout the weekend with temperatures in the upper 80s and nighttime lows in the upper 60s. Now you head down to the Roanoke Valley. You see today near 90, tomorrow near 90 as well. We'll probably heat things up a little bit more as we get closer to Wednesday and by Thursday with maybe a couple late day showers and storms. But even still for right now, we're going to keep things quite hot through the weekend. High temperatures in the low to mid 90s. The added dose of humidity could lead the heat index to go high a little bit, but it's also going to keep overnight lows only in the upper 60s and lower 70s with each afternoon having the chance for some hit or miss showers and storms.